Interaction between the infective tripomastigote form of Trypanosoma cruzi and macrophage cells. In this example, the attachment of the tripomastigote form to the macrophage surface is observed. The process of internalization via phagocytosis begins with the formation of pseudopods and is followed by the recruitment and fusion of host cell lysosomes. A parasitophorous vacuole is subsequently formed. The lysosomal content is released into the vacuole and the parasite is not affected. In the vacuole, the tripomastigote transforms into the amastigote form. This transformation is accompanied by the digestion of the parasitophorous vacuole membrane. The amastigotes are released into the cytoplasm of the host cell and divide several times. Observe how many amastigotes are accumulating with the division process. They can occupy the entire cytoplasm of the host cell. Following division, the amastigotes transform into tripomastigotes, which show intense and constant movement. The host cell bursts and the parasites reach the extracellular space and subsequently the bloodstream. Next, they will infect new cells. 